Hi, this is Dawn of StampTillDawn.com, and I um, was with Close to My Heart, and they closed their company, and so now I've transitioned to Stampin' Up, and many of my customers have come along with me, so I'm sharing my journey and how I'm learning to use the different items. So today we're doing the stamp pads, and I have a cool trick that I have not seen any place else, so I hope you'll stick with it. So to open their stamp pads, there's a little indentation right there, and you can put your thumb in there and lift up on it, and that was the first time I've opened this one. Sometimes they're a little stiff when you do that, and then it slides. And if you can hear, it's kind of like, have you ever had like a sliding glass door that kind of sticks when you do it? It's a little bit like that. So what I did is I have this snap stick because I also do 3D printing and sometimes with my 3D printing it kind of is a little rough on stuff. So I just took, put a little on my finger and I'm going to rub it along this edge. You can also do it straight from the stick and then just kind of rub it in. You don't want to put very much but then watch this. It's going to be so much easier. So now I'm wiping my fingers off and I lift it up. That part's still a little sticky. Open it and close it a few times, but watch this. Do you see how smooth that is going in and out there? So that's my super cool trick with um, doing them. Next, I want to show you that they come with extra labels on the back. So you have your label here, but you might want the label on this end so that when you put it into a storage thing, you can see what color it is there. And then there's also this channel right here that we can put the sticker in because sometimes pads look similar when they're open, they're dark, and putting the sticker here will help you to know what color it is. So let me show you how to do the stickers. So they're here on the back. Most of the time they're in four different languages. So you have English, um, French, I believe it's German and Japanese. But sometimes, and I had one here, it was one of the, it was one of the ones that's hard to read. Let me grab, it was yellow. So it's gonna be really hard to see this, but sometimes they have it in English twice. So lemon lolly there, and then down here, it's not in Japanese. It's really hard to see it, but it also says lemon lolly in English. So sometimes the Japanese is a second English one that you can use. So um, what you're gonna do is it kinda gives you an indicator which end to peel, and I tried doing it the other way, so I'm gonna tell you, look at the indicator, it makes it easier, and you can peel it up with your finger, or um, sometimes it's easier to use like a pick tool like this, and then go to lift it up. If any of them don't go with it, just kinda hold them down. Take this part off. And then you can pick up your sticker. I found it's a little easier to pick the sticker up to get it off there with uh, like a pick tool or something like that. Um, and, but then when I go to put it on, I'm more adept with using my fingers. So I'm just gonna kind of center it on here the best I can. They're never perfect. And put that on. And then I'm gonna open it up. And I'm, see how sl much that slid well? And then I'm gonna pick up on this one because it's Japanese right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this solid one that doesn't have any words on it and put it in here. Now you could pick another language. Maybe you come become um, fluent in another language, at least in stamp pad colors. You could put whichever one you want in there. And there you are, you're all set. You've got your labels on there. And then you probably wanna go ahead and remove these. I've heard that like if you stick it in and out of shelves that sometimes these get caught. So you can just pick up this edge and slowly lift it. I recommend go really slow. If you try to go fast, sometimes it um, leaves a bit there and then it's harder to get it off. So just go along the edges and pull slowly. This one looks like it's gonna do a good job. If it were to start to get stuck or start to rip, then you might want to switch directions and pull it from a different direction. And then once you get this off, I personally like to take a Sharpie or I usually use a sticker. I'm going to have to test and see how the sticker works on here because they set together and you want them to kind of stick. But um, I always put my name on it and that's not because I'm worried somebody's going to steal it. But when you're together with your friends, it's good to know whose pad is whose. So let's one more time. See how much smoother that is? So again, that's the snap stick. I'm sure I got it like off Amazon. In fact, I will look for a link and I'll link it in the description and on my website.
So good luck with your Stampin' Pads from Stampin' Up!